Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Today, we will discuss about solid figures. Have you seen an architect? Is architecture and architect the same? What are the shapes used by the architects to build buildings? So, yung architects, sila yung mga nagde-design ng mga buildings. At yung tawag sa mga na-design nilang uh, buildings ay architecture. For example, yung mga churches, yung mga landscape, yung mga museums. So, yung architect ang gumagawa ng design. There were different three-dimensional shapes around us. And there were many solid objects. Can you identify one? Most of the objects around have three dimensions. So, yung three-dimensional objects, so we call them as solid figures. At ang three dimensions ng solid figures ay ang length, ang width, and ang height. Length yung haba, width yung kapal, and height yung taas. Solid figures are three-dimensional figures. A three-dimensional object has length, width, and height. Moreover, they may have faces, edges, and vertices. So, aside sa three dimensions ng solid figures, meron ding uh, faces, edges, and vertices ang solid figures. So, i-identify natin or i-determine natin isa-isa ano ba yung faces, edges, and vertices ng solid figures. Okay, so let's have this example. So, this is a solid figure. So, let us identify alin ba dito ang face. So, para ma-identify natin, let's first define face. A face is the flat surface of a solid figure. So, siya yung flat surface ng solid figure. So, dito sa ating solid figure na ito, ang face ay itong flat surface. Ito. So, kung bibilangin mo yung mga faces, imagine niyo yung faces doon hanggang sa likod. So, this solid figure has six faces. Okay, so from this solid figure, let's now identify alin dito yung edge. An edge is formed when two faces meet. Kapag nag-meet ang dalawang faces, makakabuo tayo ng edge. And an edge is a straight line segment. So from this solid figure, ito ang ating edge. Itong straight line segment na to. So that is the edge. So, bibilangin natin or bilangin nyo yung mga edges ng solid figure na ito. Uh, ito ay 12. Okay, let's now have the vertex. A vertex is a point where edges meet. Kung ang edges ay napoform kapag ang mga faces ay nag-meet, ang vertex naman ay magpo-form when edges meet. So, para siyang sa angle, yung point of intersection nila, makakabuo ka ng vertex. So, this is the vertex. Ang singular form ng vertex is vertex at ang plural form naman is vertices. So, this solid figure has 8 vertices. Bilangin nyo na lang. Solid figures are either polyhedron or non-polyhedron. So, ano ang pagkakaiba ng polyhedron sa non-polyhedron? Ang polyhedron is a solid polyhedron if all its faces are polygons. So, dapat yung mapoform na faces ay mga polygons. Ano ulit yung polygons? Ito yung mga close figure such as triangles, quadrilaterals, trapezoid, and so on. So, basta ang mabuo niyang face ay polygon, it is a polyhedron. Pag non-polyhedron naman, syempre, ito yung mga faces na nabuo ay hindi polygon, kagaya ng a uh, circle or circular. So, yung mga non-polyhedrons, ito yung cones, spheres, and cylinders. So, yung mga faces niya ay circle. So, ito yun, a polyhedron, maybe a prism or a pyramid. So, ganyan ang itsura ng prism. Ito naman ang itsura ng pyramid. A prism is made up of two parallel and congruent bases. So, yung basis na napoform ay congruent. Ibig sabihin ng congruent ay pareho. 
at ang basis niya ay any polygon. The other faces are parallelograms, kagaya na nakikita nyo dito sa ating picture. A prism is named after the shape of its base. So, pinapangalanan natin yung isang prism base sa shape ng kanyang base. If its base is a triangle, it is called a triangular prism. So, this is the example of triangular prism. Kung nakikita nyo, ang base ng figure na ito is triangle. If it is a pentagon, it is called a pentagonal prism. So, ano ba yung pentagon? It has five sides. So, this is an example of a pentagonal prism kung saan ang kanyang base ay isang pentagon. Okay, next, same with prism, a pyramid is also named after the shape of its base. So, pinapangalanan din natin ng isang pyramid after uh, uh, base sa shape ng kanyang base. If the base is a square, we call it a square pyramid. If the base is a triangle, we call it a triangular pyramid. So, this example is a square pyramid dahil ang kanyang base ay square. A pyramid has only one base. Isa lang ang base ng ating pyramid, which can also be a polygon or any polygon. The other faces are triangles which meet at a common vertex. Yung ibang faces naman ng uh, pyramid ay triangle at meron siyang isang vertex. Okay, so we named this pyramid as an octagonal pyramid because the base of this pyramid is an octagon. Ano ba yung octagon? It has eight sides. Okay, so we have to familiarize ourselves with these different kinds of solid figures. So, ito yung mga pangalan ng mga solid figures. So, ito ay cube. Ito naman ang triangular prism. Square pyramid. Rectangular prism. We have the sphere. Triangular pyramid. The cylinder and the cone. So, i-familiar nyo yung mga sarili nyo sa mga different solid figures kasi kailangan natin ito sa pag-identify ng face, ng edges, at ng vertex ng mga given solid figure. Next, so ito naman yung mga number of faces, number of edge, and number of vertex ng mga solid figure. So, ang cube, meron siyang 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Ang triangular prism, meron siyang 5 faces, 9 edges and 6 vertices. Ang triangular pyramid is merong 4 faces, 6 edges and 4 vertices. Ang square pyramid ay may 5 faces, 8 edges and 5 vertices. Rectangular prism has 6 faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices. So same siya with the cube. Ang sphere naman has no faces, edges, and vertices kasi pabilog siya. Ang cylinder, ito ay may 3 faces, may 2 edges, and wala siyang vertex. Kasi nga, ang kanyang base ay circular. Walang mapoform na uh, vertex doon. Then, ang cone has 1 face, 1 edge, and 1 vertex. Okay, and that is a flat pattern that when folded and taped together builds a solid figure. So, for example, a cube. So, kung gusto nating makaform ng cube, kailangan alam natin kung ano ba itura ng kanyang net. So, ito yung net niya. So, ito naman yung net ng rectangular prism. If you want to form a cylinder, ito yung net na ating gagamitin. So, meron siyang dalawang circular bases. Para siyang division symbol. Then, cone naman. Ito yung net ng cone. And, if we want to build a square base pyramid, so, ito yung kanyang net. Let's proceed on this activity. Give the number of faces, edges, and vertices of the following objects and identify the solid figure each object resembles. So, we're going to give the number of the faces and edges ng, and vertices ng solid figure na ito. 
So, we have the ball. So, dapat alam nyo anong klaseng solid figure ang ball. Ang ball ay isang sphere. So, kung naalala nyo, sinabi natin na ang sphere ay walang face, walang edge, at wala siyang vertex. Next, we have the globe. Ang globe ay pabilog and it is also a sphere. So, same with the ball, wala rin siyang face, walang edges, at walang vertex. Next is a funnel. Ano ba yung funnel? Yung salaan. Yung sinasalaan ng mga mantika. So, ang funnel ay isang cone. Cone. At ang cone ay may isang face. Isa lang yung face niya. Meron siyang isang edge. At isang vertex. Next is an ice cream cone. So, nandun na rin siya mismo sa kanyang pangalan, cone. Ang ice cream cone ay, ay, ay cone. Therefore, wala, ay meron siyang isang face, isang edge, at isang vertex. So, yun yung vertex na yun, nasa uh, pinakadulo yung cone. Ng cone. Next, yung tin can. Ano ba yung tin can? Ito yung empty can. Ito yung lata. So, ang lata ay cylinder. Ang cylinder, meron siyang three faces. So, bilangin nyo, one, taas, baba, tapos yung isang buong gilid niya. Meron siyang dalawang edges. And, wala siyang vertex. Wala naman siyang point of intersection kasi pabilog siya eh. Next is, ang shoebox. So, yung shoebox ay isang rectangular prism. So, same siya ng cone. Meron siyang 6 faces. Meron siyang 12 edges. At meron siyang 8 vertices. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.